Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my first holiday inspired makeup look. So I decided to go with a silver eye and a pink nudish lip. So I hope you guys enjoy. The first thing that I'm going to do is apply a cream gel color. This one is by ColourPop, which is named Kicker. I wanted somewhat of a silver base before applying the silver shadow. For the shadows, I wanted to go ahead and try the new holiday collection by ColourPop. So I'm using the Blitz collection and the shadow that I'm going to be applying as the transition color is Party Girl, which is a really pretty pink. Then on the eyebrow bone, I went ahead and applied a Valley Girl. Just applied a bit and blend it with my finger. Now for the main eyeshadow for this look, I'm going to be using that girl and it's such a beautiful, beautiful silver. It has like a bit of shimmer, which is amazing. So it's really going to help your lid glow, especially at night. So I was very excited to apply this on the lid. I'm just applying it with a Morphe flat brush. Then to perfect the eye look, I just went and applied a little bit more of Party Girl on the crease of the eye. And now I'm ready for the gel liner. I decided to do just a teeny bit of a wing. So I'm using this eyeliner by Mika. And for the lashes, I'm applying the Coco Lashes in Queen Bee. And let me just tell you, these have become some of my newest faves. I absolutely love them so, so much. Now I'm ready for my primer. I'm going to be using this one by Jouer. I'm going to go a little bit crazy with the primer because I have been a little bit drier, especially around the nose. This weather's kind of making my skin a little bit weird. For the foundation, I'm going to be using the Marc Jacobs in Honey Light. This is the Remarkable Foundation. If you want to know a little bit more about this foundation, I have a full review. But I'm just going to be applying it with a damp sponge. This sponge is actually by Pure Cosmetics in case you guys are interested. Now to conceal and highlight, I'm going to be using two concealers. The first one is by MAC, which is the Pro Longwear. And then I'm going to be mixing it with the Makeup Forever Full Cover. And I actually really love the combination. Now I'm just going to be blending it with the sponge. To set my under eye area, I'm going to be applying the Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup Powder. And for the bronzer, I'm going to be using one of my new favorites, which is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo in number two. And this brush that you're seeing me use is one of my favorites to buff and apply bronzer. It is the one by IT Cosmetics. So I'm just going to be sculpting my face and making it look a little bit longer and leaner. To highlight, I'm going to be using the Champagne Glow Palette by Jaclyn Hill and Becca Cosmetics. And I actually mixed Pearl and Champagne Pop. And I love the combination. It gives such a beautiful glow. So I highly suggest this palette. Really, really gorgeous. Next, I'm going to move on to apply a bit of blush. I'm using this one by Sigma. And I've been using this brush a lot. It is by Royal and Langnickel. And it is their BC100. I've been using it so, so much to apply my blush. Now, I'm going to be applying a few coats of mascara. This one is by Stila. On the waterline, I'm also going to be applying Kicker, but this one is in their cream gel liner. And I thought it made such a beautiful touch to the makeup look. Lastly, on the lips, I went ahead and applied a liquid lipstick. This one is from the Amorisi collection in Resi. And I thought it just summed up the look so beautifully. But we are basically done with this look. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys haven't. Bye guys!